A 12-year-old hurt after a local school bus was shot at with a BB gun, and police say one of the pellets hit that student in the back. Yes, Action News Jax told you at 6.30 that 27 students were on their way home from Mayport Middle School. And tonight, Action News Jax, Brittany Verner is live where the bus was shot at. And Brittany, you spoke with students who say that they thought the pellets coming through the window were coming from an actual gun. I'm standing on Row Hero near Greenleaf, and this is the stretch of road that bus was traveling when someone shot it with a BB gun. It was a scary situation for students and parents, but thankfully, no one was seriously injured. I was in the back of the bus, and all of a sudden, you hear shattering. Seventh grader Desiree was on her way home from school with her Mayport middle classmates when their bus was hit with BB pellets. We didn't know it was a BB at first. We thought it was an actual gun. Police say it happened just before five Wednesday afternoon, and students witnessed the scary situation as one of the pellets pierced through the window and hit a 12-year-old boy in the back. You could see the hole in his back, like in his clothes. JSO says the BB did not break his skin, and he is okay. This is ridiculous. You you, you don't you don't put other people's lives in danger like that, especially kids. It's not it's not fair. This is a picture of the shattered glass from the inside of the bus. Officers say the bus driver immediately pulled over to call police once she heard the students say he had been hit. They were all forced to stay on the bus for around two hours until they were interviewed by police, and it left parents like Edward Payot worried about their safety. We're, we're just left wondering um, and, and hopes that whoever did something like this is held accountable. Now they are hoping whoever is responsible for this incident is found and faces consequences, and students are hoping this never happens again. It was just really scary. Although it was only a BB gun, it was still a very dangerous situation because if it had hit the bus driver, it could have caused an accident. Or worse, if it had hit a student or if the glass had hit a student, it could have caused severe injuries. But coming up at 11, we'll let you hear from police concerning how they're trying to catch the person responsible for this. Reporting live in Arlington, Brittany Verner, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.